So now let's look at the architectural example. I see uh, a very typical section view. It's a traverse from a survey. This was done by some students. And so I see, um, let's see what the differences might look like. I see a difference in the text style. I see a difference in what the leader looks like here. And I see a difference in the dimension. Let's see if we can see those again. Yeah, this one is sharp instead of sloped, and it has an arrow instead of a dot. This is just a standard font, and this has 20.00 with a put symbol instead of saying 20 feet. So let's see how we can get those things changed using the styles. Let's start with the text styles. Okay, so if I want to see what that one should be set at, I'll go to my annotation tab. There's something called, um, let's see which one this is over here. This one is called, if I look at my properties, it's called view title. And this one is called view title. So I need one called view title. Palatino linotype, bold italic, quarter inch, 0.875. Okay. So let's take a, a little snip of that so I can remember what it is. And we'll go back to our standard here and we'll set up a new text style. And it was going to be called View Title Palatino. I think it was bold italic 0.25 with a whip factor of 0 0.75 0 0.875 and then those pieces of text i've selected all of them can be put on view title not too bad. Let's go and see what this leader type looks like. 1 to 24 scale dim. 1 to 24 scale dim. So something, so that's for my 1 inch equals 24. Let's see, make sure those, yep, so they're, they are over here. Let's see what those look like. Oh, that's, um, those are my dims, not my, sorry. I want to see my leaders. Section views. That's the one I want. So I see that it's eighth inch high, middle, middle with a dot and a spline. Spline, dot, eighth inch high. Spline, dot, eighth inch high. Okay, so in my drawing, I'm gonna go to annotations, leaders, styles, and make a new one. And I remember this was called a spline. And the arrowhead symbol was a dot. It was eighth inch tall. So that should 
do it. So I select, go to my leaders, put it on section views. Now I've got to take care of my dim, and I see that it's in the model. There's a specific reason for that because it truly does have to say how big it is. Well, let's take a look. One to 24 scale. Where does that show up? That's under fit. Select scale for dimensions 24. So the dimension stays the same, but it makes it really, really big. 24 times as big. And in primary units, I'm going to do decimal, zero precision, and feet. This is actually more of a civil. That's okay. Let me take a snip of that so that I can remember. Let's go back to my drawing. Annotation. Dimension styles. I need to make a new one. And it was, I don't remember what that one was called, 1 to 24 scale dims. Primary units were decimal, 0, and down here the suffix changes to And I think I have dots on it also. Let's take that now and put it on that dim style 1 to 24. Oh, I didn't set that 24. Better go back and fix that. I remember that the fit was supposed to say 24. So it shows up big enough. There it goes. Now I have everything correct. Okay, so this is not going to take you a long time but it takes some organization and keeping things together and um, and go, some going back and forth. So there we go. That's how to do your architectural style managers.